Hi everyone and um, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to take a look at some of the posters that have been released for the Wheel of Time Amazon series. Um, we're going to give each one a rating out of 10 and just share a couple of thoughts. Um, so let's get to it. Um, this is our first poster. Okay, so straight up I think the aesthetic is quite nice. The Wheel of Time logo there in the centre, um, Moraine in the centre and yeah, the way, way gate, I think, framing it. Yeah, we said that was a way gate during the trailer. Um, mm. I find, find that a little bit odd, actually. The way gates were certainly in the book, but they weren't prominent enough to warrant a poster. But it does provide mm. a, a nice sort of bordering to the shot, I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it does give that sort of framing, framing the shot, I guess. Um, I also really like that dark cloud use in the background, that you know, menacing a little bit, something bad could be coming um, kind of mm. feeling to it. Contrasting nicely with the with the sun rising behind Moraine yeah. as a sort of indicator of hope um, and that she brings hope. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, overall, um, I think quite a nice poster. Aesthetically, it's quite pleasing. I don't feel a huge amount of personal connection to it, so I'm probably going to give it a 6 or 7 out of 10. Yeah. For me, for me, it would be about a six. Um, feels a little bit too distant to draw me in. So, hmm. on to the next one. Okay. So, yeah, just up front on this one, I'm going to say that the Madral or the Fade is, like, really drawing my eye straight away um, to the exclusion of the rest of the poster. And, yeah, I guess not my favourite up front for that reason. Well, the fade is positioned and oversized to be overbearing. Um, I think what they were going for is to try and make him intimidating and feel overpowered so that the protagonists seem like the underdog. Um, and they've mm. reinforced that by positioning the protagonist beneath him in the shot. Um, yeah. There is that evil otherworldliness feeling to him for sure, like that menacing feeling. And the light that is sort of around those other characters in the lower shot, the main characters, um, brings that hope contrast again. But I found it rather odd that they've only got one Madral there, though. Um, they've sort of brought him to bear as a single entity and giving sort of the villain personality to what was essentially a faceless enemy in the books. So I'm interested to see if that carries over to the series. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, so for this one overall, um, it's, it's definitely not my favourite. I'm going to have to give it about a 4 out of 10. I can see what they're going for, but yeah. For me, I'd say it's a 5 out of 10 because, again, I don't feel connected to it, but it does do its purpose in making me not like the Madral. Yeah. Okay, so our final poster is this one. Mm. And immediately I'm much more engaged with this one. Um, the mm amount of space given to the characters and the closeness of the shot really gives you that ability to sort of look into their eyes and think you can tell what they're feeling. Um, so for example, we got Moraine there who looks like she's concerned, also determined. Um, then you got Lan who is making sure she's safe because that's part of his job and his focus is on her. Mm. Yeah, I really like that um, personality that it brings. You feel immediately more connected to this um, poster for sure. I actually just really, I really like this holding the Trollocs head in her hand and that the other hand looks like it's holding her cloak or skirt. I'm not sure if that's really what it's doing, but it kind of looks like that. To me, it's giving like that paradox of who Moraine is in that she is nobly born and she has that kind of way she carries herself in that dignified manner but when it comes to fighting shadow spawn and getting her hands dirty in the thick of battle she's like right in there doing that and so this kind of noxulent ability to i'm just you know, holding the trollocs head and they're yeah, just making sure my cloak doesn't get too muddy like it's I, I just think it brings that kind of a bit of substance to her character so i really like that mm. I liked the uh, some of the detailing on the Trolloc because I, I tend to focus on monsters in fantasy settings. Um, he's got the horns, as was common for Trollocs, and a few other monsterish features, such as I think I saw tusks on his lower lip there and um, some fur around his shoulders. 
I do really want to see more of what the shadow spawn look like in the series. So yeah, that was something I noticed. Yeah. And again, we've got, um, well, the background is obviously the village, village burning. Um, but I also like, we've got that dark cloud and, um, light source again happening. So that same sense of anticipation and hope. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 9 out of 10. I think it's really nice. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for the solid engagement that you get with the person of the poster. Mm -hmm. uh, something that I did just notice um, was that Moraine seems to be front and center in all of the shots, indicating her as the primary character, um, which mm -hmm. is an interesting contrast to the books where she was a major character, but mm -hmm. not the primary character. She was um, primary in the New Spring prequel book, um, mm. which seems to be tied in with the series, but I just thought that was interesting. Mm. So just throwing a little bit more um, mystery over who's going to be the actual main protagonist. Um, mm. Yeah, I could, I could definitely see that for sure. Mm. Yeah, well, that was our thoughts on those three. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, please give a like and uh, subscribe. And yeah, comment what your ratings would be out of 10. Have a and good thanks one. Thanks, everyone. Folks. Bye.